In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and testing out the Nespresso Virtual Next together with the Aerochino 3. So let's get started. The Virtual Next measures at 12.5 inches tall, 14.7 inches in depth and 5.5 inches wide. Open the lid and that brings it to about 18 inches tall. It comes with a 1.1 litre or 37 ounce water tank and lid. Just make sure to attach it properly by clicking it into place. And here you have the removable container and drip tray where the used capsules fall into. So here we have the cup support and the cup support is made of plastic. It seems very thin and very light and it measures at three and a half inches diameter. It is height adjustable, the top position giving me about two and a half inches from the drip. Unfortunately, I can't get my three inch mug, which is also six ounces. Um, I have to move it to the middle level, which gives me four inches height. And the lowest level gives a space of six inches, so I can just about fit my five and a half inch mug, which is also 16 ounces. There are five virtual capsule sizes, ranging from an espresso 40 ml to an alto 414 ml and a two minute auto shut off feature. Before you use the machine for the first time, you're gonna to need to do a cleansing brew. So fill up the water tank with fresh water and then place a container or a jug enough to hold at least one liters underneath the coffee outlet and then switch the machine on and you should see a slow blinking light while the machine is heating up. Once the machine is ready, the light will be steady and you need to press it three times within two seconds and then be prepared to be startled because this machine is loud and I'm not kidding you, it is loud. It's like a jet about to take off. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. It just startled me so much, I wasn't expecting it. So if you are new to Nespresso, be prepared of the loud sound that it is gonna make. And I don't know if it's just the Virtual Next or because this is my first time I'm using a Nespresso machine. I don't know if any of the earlier models also make a loud sound. If they do, please do drop us a comment below because I would love to know if this is just how Nespresso makes their machines. But yeah, I, it, it definitely gave me a startle for sure. Yeah, it almost sounds like my washing machine during a spin cycle. It seems to be working really hard, the machine does. Anyways, this is gonna take about seven minutes to run, so I'm gonna leave it to do its thing. And I'm gonna open up my Aerochino 3 in the meantime. And if you guys are new to my channel, do consider subscribing. I bring out videos every week. The Aerochino comes with this little spring that you can just pull out and then separate the parts to give them a good wash after every use. Just be sure to put both parts back together securely before putting it into the Aerochino. And when you put it into the base of the Aerochino, it'll connect magnetically. And it looks like my cleansing brew is all done, so I'm just gonna throw this water out. So back to the Aerochino, it measures at seven inches tall, but uh, inside you're only gonna be using the top three and a half inches. More, the bottom part is most likely the motor. And inside you'll see two markings, the lower level being to froth milk, so you can add up to four ounces, and the top level eight ounces for no froth. The Virtual Next does come with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth features, but it's not required to operate the machine and I will be covering all of this in my next video. Okay, I'm gonna make a Bianco Legero, which is a 80 ml double espresso. I'm gonna pop my six ounce mug on the cup holder and try to unlock the lid, but I'm gonna warn you that it is not as easy as it looks in the Nespresso adverts. It's actually quite stiff. And the lid is also quite heavy compared to the rest of the machine. I think most of the weight is in the lid and then push the lid down to close it. Again, it's quite hard to even push down and to lock it into place. I'm having to use two hands. And even sliding the lever into the lock position is quite stiff. Um, I'm hoping this will loosen up a little after each use. Press the button and it'll start doing the heating process first and also reading the barcode on the capsule. So for this 80 ml double espresso, it took about 20 seconds before the coffee started coming out. And I'm trying to get a better shot of the coffee coming out, so my apologies for all the camera movement.
So the whole process from the moment you push the button till the very last drop takes about 76 seconds for a double espresso 80ml. And just a quick temperature test, it's showing around 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Not really hot at all. And here you can see the crema on top, which is what Nespresso is known for. It creates this layer of foam on top, which is actually the oils that is separated from the coffee. So when you unlock and open the lid, you'll see the capsule automatically drop into the container. And the container can hold up to 10 espresso size or six coffee size capsules. I'm going to use my arrochino for the next cup. I'm going to pour in four ounces of milk up to the first level. To make cold milk or froth, then hold the button for two seconds until it turns blue. Otherwise, press it once and it'll turn red for hot froth or milk. And it took about 1 minute 20 seconds to froth the milk. Let's open it up and there you have it, lovely froth. Okay, I'm going to make a 230ml caramel cookie which is about 7.7 .7 ounces. And it took about 25 seconds for the heating process and for the barcode reading before the coffee came out. And I don't know if you can see this, but my mug is a little bit big for the cup holder that it's sliding off from the vibration of the machine. So be careful when you're using wide mugs on here because there isn't a lot of support, especially if you put the cup holder on one of the higher levels, there's a bigger chance of it sliding off. And then 76 seconds for the coffee to dispense. So in total, the whole process took about, let's say one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, and I'll add my hot milk to this now. Unfortunately, I won't be presenting any designs today other than a dollop of foam for you. Okay, now I'm going to make a reversal by pouring the milk first and I'm going to use the hazelnut muffin. So using my editing software, I'm going to reduce the sound of the coffee machine so you can enjoy the brewing process. Here you can see the four layers, the milk, the coffee, the crema, and then the froth on top. And remember to empty out the Nespresso capsules from the container. 
And here you can see all the piercings made by the machine to extract the full flavor of the coffee. The drip tray will also have a lot of liquid in there, so you'll need to wash that out as well. And also the base of the machine where the container sits. Um, be sure to wipe that down and also the cup holder. And I will be covering the cleaning aspects and setting up your preferences in my next video, so be sure to subscribe for that. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment and I'll catch you in my next video.